So this is going to be a quick episode about uploading images or some other files from the front end. So this has been a question that has been asked many times. How do you upload images from the front end in October CMS? So I'm going to show you that now. It's a popular question and a popular problem. Just uh, one note about this. So we are not going to do this the hard way, which would be via Ajax and some JavaScript library for uploading files, but we are going to do it the most easy way possible. So in one of the previous episodes, we created this add actor form and uh, we can use that form. So it's actually a component that we added to the page. So uh, that component is in uh, watch, learn movies, actor form default.htm and actor form.php. So this is our code for that component. And uh, that's about it. So that's our component. And what it does is from the front end, you can add actor's name and last name and save it to the debate database. So let's, for example, use Brad Pitt. Save actor. Okay, if we go to actors, refresh the page, as you can see, we have Brad Pitt right here. Okay, so first of all, we have to create a relationship between October system images. So October has already has a database or a table in our database for saving images. So we just have to define the real, the real, real the relationship between actors and those images. And to do that, you would just go to uh, movies, uh, models, and then to the actor model. And then you would define that relationship right here. So public we are going to call our field actor image. Okay, now we save this. Uh, we already did this before. So this is just a relationship between the image and the actor model. Also, we can go to builder right now. Uh, I'm already on the movies plugin. We go to watch learn movies uh, actor. So to models and then go to fields. And then we just add a field right here so that we can check if the image is actually saved. So I'm going to add a file upload widget right here. And I'm going to call it actor image. Okay, file upload is going to be in an image and we're going to define that it's going to be 100 pixels wide and 100 pixels high. And that should be it. Save this. Now, if we go to movies, actors, click on Brad Pitt, you will see this field right here and we can add an image. So I prepared this one of John Cusack, save and close. And if you go to Brad Pitt right now, you can see that uh, that image is saved. So we need to do the same thing on this form right here. Okay, so first of all, let's just go to movies, components, actor form, default.htm. So this is our form and create a field for adding our image. So the input is going to be type of file and the name is going to be actor image. Okay, save this. So what this does, we already did this before, but I'm just going to explain it again. So what this does is, uh, first of all, when you click submit, it finds this on save function. And that function is in our actor form. So it's actually a method. So uh, it has public function on save and what it does, it creates a new model of actor. It gets the name from the form it gets the last name from the form and then it saves the actor and displays the success message. So what we are going to add here, we are going to add this actor image field. And save it. Okay. 
So if I save this, go to my page, refresh this, and now we have uh, our new field right here. We can just add a new actor. Choose a file. And now try to save that actor. Okay, so it says that the actor has been added. And just uh, note that this is actually Ajax request. So the page doesn't refresh. And if we go to actors, we have Kevin Spacey. But unfortunately, the image hasn't been added because it's a little bit more complicated to add images uh, when dealing with Ajax forms. So we are going to convert this form to be a regular form. And that way, this code that we <coughs> uh, coded <laughs> in our actor form.php will actually work. It will not work as an Ajax. And in one of the future episodes, we are definitely going to, uh, I'm uh, definitely going to show you how to use some of the jQuery libraries for uploading files and then save that form via Ajax. But for now, we are just going to do it the simple way. So what we need to do is we need some way to say to October that this isn't going to be an Ajax form. And to do that, we are going to define this form a little bit different. So I'm going to delete this data request and create a normal form. So the method is going to be post. The action is going to be this page that we are on. So add actors. Okay, now we save this. Uh, the important thing to realize here is you have to add this ang type, a multi-part form data, because that way you say to the form that there will be files that need to be posted uh, to our endpoint, which is going to be this method right here on save. Okay. So there are two more things, actually three more things that we need to do. We need to add a token. So CRSF token, and we need to add a session key, and we need to tell it to look for this method right here. So on save method. So first of all, let's just do the on save method. Okay, so the type is going to be hidden, the name is going to be handler, and the value is going to be on save. Two things we need to do uh, is uh, add a form token and session key. Uh, luckily, the October already has uh, those, let's call it tags or functions prepared for us. So to do that, you would just use normal twig tags. So this is for form token. And this one is for form session key. So if we save this, you can check it out. If we refresh the page and check out how our form looks right now, you will see two new fields. So you have this input token, which is hidden, and you have this session key right here. So you need those two things to post that form. Okay. Now, uh, our form should actually, I think, be working. Uh, let me just try it. So the actor is going to be Kevin Spacey. Actually, not Kevin Spacey, but John Cusack. And we choose a file with his image this time. Open it up and save that actor. As you can see, the page refreshes and the actor has been added. Let's go to actors right now and click on John Cusack. And as you can see, you have that image right here. Of course, you can change it if you want. Uh, the same thing would be if you uh, needed to add some files, uh, not just images. 
and uh, you can use this on your contact form or on a front-end form for your users. Okay, so this has been it for this episode. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you want to ask me questions, you can follow me on Facebook or on Twitter, or maybe ask those questions in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.